Under the banners, summer skies. Now, just jumping back to how uh, Adam you said you like to paint the picture and the imagery and, and that sort of thing. This one is just incredible for that. I mean, you, you paint quite the picture with your lyrics. Like, I really enjoy that song for that reason alone. Thank you. I think I think the harmonies on that are particularly amazing, and I really like the way the keyboard threads through the track as well. I think you know this it is quite a you, you know you can just really feel it. It's, it's great, really good. It's a heady soup. <laughs> <laughs> um, just something I was going to ask you, Adam. Um, I don't know if you've got any groupies, but did you know that you're a really sexy frontman from a woman's point of view? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't until just then, thank you. <laughs> so you don't have groupies hanging around then? Um, there, yeah, there are people who um, who come to each gig um, of, of both genders. Uh, we have uh, a lot of people who, who come back again and again. Um, and some of them live quite far away. Um, so, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. So, that, so a lot of people are prepared to travel then to. It, yeah, so it would seem. I mean, th this is why we're uh, we use the phrase today at a, at, a, at a crossroads point now, looking to to move another step or a few forward, um, just to be able to reach more people because we know without being too conceited that the audience is out there. We've we've used social media for that, um, and now perhaps some more conventional methods need to be put in place. We know the, the landscape of the music uh, industry, in inverted commas, has changed a hell of a lot, but um, we've, we're willing to work with it and around it. It's, I mean, it's good for you to sort of mention that, though, to say that people are prepared to travel, because often the case is with social media, because it is so widespread, um, a lot of the fans can't get to gigs, but if you're actually finding they are, I think that's, that is, you know, you've scored something there, haven't you? You've definitely, with your, you know, life. So. Yeah, ho hopefully so. Um, it, it's very, it has been very frustrating when, when you get people from across the Atlantic and quite literally the, the, the other side of the world completely um, saying, when are you going to come here? Um, and we just have to say, you know, we're working on it. We'll we'll do what we can. We very much hope to see you in Santiago or yeah. wherever else, Jakarta. You know, this has happened, and um, we we are working very hard to be able to uh, to make that a reality. Well, you know, and the thing, I mean, that that's that's a good point because the thing is, what people don't understand is, you know, a lot of the bands they want to travel across the pond or across the ocean or wherever, but what people don't think is it's the cost involved. <laughs> it's not just the one to play. Absolutely immense cost. Yeah, yeah. So, really. I mean, I mean that that's that's the case for a lot of bands, and even even around here, let's say locally, it's because uh, like I said, uh, Toronto's about an hour and a half, two hours away, and no, there's a lot of shows I want to see, and the only thing is, <clears throat> I don't always want to drive to Toronto to go see the show because two hour drive there, you see the show, and then by the time you get back in town, it's like two, three in the morning. You know, yeah, it's exhausting. So We've done that. even though it's worth it, I've done it a few times. You know, just and not not something I'm willing to do on, on a regular basis, just because of the travel involved. No, it's a once or twice a year thing, isn't it? So um, we're gonna get to one more song here in, in just a minute. Now, uh, Adam, do you guys have any shows coming up? Or what's what's uh, the plan uh, for the next little bit? Uh, yeah, the the next. Um timetabled live event is um, dis oh, sorry, I was going to say December then that's a total lie um, it's November the 13th at uh, Cranfield University in Bedfordshire for uh, Forest Folk and Roots um, we have another we have, we have a few things in the pipeline that we've not um, we've not officially announced yet we're also in uh, Croydon um, oh no my memory's not Serve me too well here, um, but www.underabanner.co.uk um, will will yield all of the the live results, and as soon as we update them, they'll be there as well. Now, uh, this we get this song, I had a couple. Uh, well, just a question about because uh, I know you guys have played a lot of festivals recently, 
And how how is how has that uh, been different? How much fun has that been from just playing like just like a regular show at like a pub or a bar that sort of thing? Yeah, some of those festivals were were very very enjoyable. They were all enjoyable. Um, some of them uh, produced a larger larger crowd than others. Um, um, the bigger the crowd, almost always, the more fun you have. So. They were a different experience. The weather was kind to us, um, unusually, at each and every one of them, I think, just about, yeah. Um, So, yeah, we had a great time of it. Um, And it set us up for the next years um, as well. So we're about to make those approaches to some of the same festivals, but some new ones as well, just to show that we have that pedigree now. We've done that. Uh, we're ready to, to tackle it head on again. Well, right on. And since you've been doing a lot of that, uh, <clears throat> I think this next song is uh, fitting and it's a really good party song. And this one's called Victory Time. Under the banner, dig this. Drink! Just 
Right on, Under the Banner and Victory Time. Now, this is just a good tune, and Adam, I would imagine this is one of the songs that most people sing along to when you guys play it. Yeah, we encourage that as much as possible, um, and just as we encourage the, the drunkenness that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, is necessary for it, I think. But it, it's it's such a it's such a true fact because obviously nine t- nine times out of ten when you're having fun like you, you don't want to leave you want to stay but then you know you, you you think of your priorities that you got to leave for so it's like what one one turns into five more and before you know it ah screw it <laughs> like that's it yeah I, I I try to write the truth where possible and uh, I think that's a particularly uh, true lyrical sentiment really it's got a great video to go with that as well isn't it I love it. We had a lot of fun making that. Um, yeah, we, we had to do it in black and white or sepia tone because everyone's face was so red. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> no I, I'm joking. Um, we, we, we did want it like that because of the, uh, the Victoriana feel to it, you know, the, the tinkly keyboard, the, the, the carousel type effect. Um, but there were a lot of very, very drunken people uh, in that video. <laughs> <laughs> so if any any of our kind of listeners want to um sort of follow you or anything can you just tell them where they can find you on twitter and facebook yeah so twitter's the the simple one that's twitter at under a banner or one word um facebook again under a banner uh our website uh, is under a banner.co.uk um where else are we so I mean, everything else really. All the other sites can be accessed through the through the website, top right hand corner. Click on the the three little lines, and that opens up a gateway into into other digital worlds we inhabit. So mm-hmm. that's, that's the way. Right on. So we're gonna finish up here uh, with a poem by Forgotten Bee, since we're on poetry and kind of gone from summer skies to which we still wish it was to now. This one by Forgotten Bee is called The Shivers. Like this. <laughs> I'm recording this poem because we're coming into sort of Halloween season and I just thought it'd be quite a bit of fun. It's called The Shivers. Here it goes. Stirring movement, disturbing noises, creaking floorboards, piercing voices, dragon's breath, windows banging, footsteps behind, doors slamming. Lights dimming, high-pitched shrills, light bulbs shatter, sudden chills, blood-curdling laughter, terrifying visions, breaking glass, blood dripping, no escape, no way out, trapped inside, unable to shout, falling feeling, awake with a start, nightmare over, pounding heart. Oh, that was pretty creepy. <laughs> Dark out here. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't like that much then. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I, I was just going to say quickly, if I've got two seconds, yep. it, was, it was really good when we had our poetry burn, Adam, that time. And I was going to ask you, have you ever done that with another poet before when we did it live? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, it's just simple. <laughs> yeah, it was, just, it was just really good fun. I love that because it kind of puts you on the spot, but it is a lot of fun, isn't it? It's good. Yeah, absolutely. All, all, all collaborative stuff is. Yeah, cool. Well, right on. So that's going to wrap it up. Uh, Adam, thank you so much for joining us today. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you both. So we'll definitely keep in touch and talk to you soon. So this has been Dr. Bones and Forgotten Bee. Saying Bye. bones out and a big thank you to Adam for uh, from under the banner and we'll talk to you soon. Till then, bones out. <laughs>